was from Techie World. Back with another video, and in this video, we will be doing the gaming review of the Asus Zenfone 2 Deluxe. We have been testing this phone out from the last few couple of weeks, and we already did an unboxing and review video of it. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. This is Sword of, and you are watching Techie World. Off, let me start with some light games. We will be testing out these games and at first let me start with uh, Banana Kong. So we are not facing any kind of lags in this game and I am sh sure that we will also not face any uh, lag in those type of games even in some cheaper phones but I still showed this to secure some users who are really worrying about it. So let me move up to some other games right now. Now we will move on to uh, as for Nitro, uh, this game is just a 25 MB game which is a very good job by Gameloft. By the graphics you will never think that this, uh, this is a game of just 25 MB. So let's see how is it. The speaker's quality are quite good in this phone. I don't have any complaint about it. But it's not that loud, but it's crisp. Sorry for the noises. Change the control screen. Yeah, it's uh, a few meters. The graphics are quite good in this game and uh, according to the size it's a really awesome game and we didn't face any lag in this game before, not even now. The viewing angles are also quite super, which can be expected from a phone of 23,000.
uh, now we will move on to some other games. A little bit heavy game. The Leo's Fortune. This game is not much uh, high, uh, not very high end, but it's a little heavier than the previous ones. This is of uh, around 300 MB and I personally sense this game very much. I like this game and it's a very good game for time percent on. Let's see that does he do any does we face any lags or not in this game? to some other games because I can't cross this level right now. Uh, we already done with this. Let me move on to some action games like Modern Combat 5. And the thing which I want to tell you that this Need for Speed No Limits and the Modern Combat 5 needs uh, internet connection, either data connection or Wi-Fi. So I am already connected to Wi-Fi and I can go to, I am ready to play this game. So this is a very high-end game I would say and if this phone can run this game very smoothly that means this phone has a capability to run very high-end games. So now we are good to go. face any such lags in that modern combat 5 and now we will move on to need for speed no limits which is one of the favorite game of mine for mobile this even needs internet we can't play this game without internet that's a bad point
and if I talk about graphics you can see how, what type of graphics this game has I will show you that just now you will just be shocked by seeing the graphics So just awesome. Nothing to say. No legs at all. No legs. Graphics is stunning. Whenever I start playing this game, I can't stop myself because this game is very addictive and just awesome. This game is free in Play Store and you can go and download this game very easily. The games which I showed you all are free except the Leo's fortune the Leo's fortune is available for 300 rupees uh, yeah it's 300 rupees in play store but you can download it from some other websites where it's free but i would recommend to buy it but if you can't afford then you can definitely buy the, uh, the you can download those from black Mart or something like that so even there is no such heatings in this phone. I played almost 5 games from last 10 minutes and I didn't find any types of heating issue. It's heated but a little. Overall this phone is really worth for gaming. And there are some other aspects in which I can't say right now how this phone is. So if you want rating I would give this phone. 9 out of 10 and if you want to buy this phone you can buy it directly from the link given in the description down below you can check it out and if this video helped you please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos